welcome back. Now, like usual, it smells really, really good today here in the Bender Kitchen. Yeah, we're very excited. It's time to roll up those sleeves at home because we have Chef Raquel Rivera Pablo, and she's going to be cooking up a little baby butternut squash and pesto lasagna. It smells so good, as Sarah smells was really saying. Really good. And this is really something that you can make for the holidays, whether you have guests over or whatnot. But it's it's simple. Exactly. So the last time I was here, we made we used yeah, these we did. Remember, for our right. raviolis. Mm -hmm. So we're using them again for baby lasagna. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip them in. And it's so nice because I actually did a um, event. And these present really well and you don't have to worry about cutting lasagna. They seem right? really versatile. Like Simple. you can do a lot with them. Exactly. So we're dipping them in. And in real life, like if you we were using regular lasagna noodles, you would probably right. boil them. Right, so right. here you just dip. Okay, that's add cool. Add them in. You just want to add, make sure that the uh, wontons are looking up. Ryan, this was your task there. My, so it's ricotta and butternut squash. Okay, Wait, am cool. I supposed to be doing more, no going, more noodles or yep, no? You'll more be on more noodles. Oh, so okay. he's going to first add a layer, just like you would with lasagna. Okay. He's going to scoop it in. Beautiful. Just like that? And yeah. you're going and to wet the next one and put it in. All right. Put it in there, Sarah. And then just kind of push it down. That's right. And he's going to go in with another layer. Another one. Let's see. And then we're going to top that with some mozzarella cheese. How many layers do you uh, typically do You here? stop at the third, so you're almost... Okay. We're almost there. Pretty good. This okay. is so unique. So is it like a healthier lasagna? It's, well, it's individualized, know? so you know so your small, portion size. And it involves the um, squash. Yep. Uh, and it's definitely uh, vegetarian, vegan, if you change out the cheese, right? You right. can change out the cheese right. for it and make it a nice little vegan dish. So on top, and then there's some pesto. So what I did here was you can add either heavy cream or, so, or you can thicken it and make like a bechamel, uh, which is just flour oh, and... A what? Bechamel. A bechamel. So are, are you familiar? I shockingly know that. I don't, I don't even know Please why. Please inform me and uh, You're sophisticated, of Ryan. I'm surprised. No, you, no, no, you, no, no, You say. So it's equal parts butter and flour that yeah. gets cooked down, kind of like a roux, and then you add milk to it. And if okay. you know what a roux is? I know. Well, one of my dog's name is Roux. So that's there we go. Yeah, no, so no relation to the food. We're going to add a little bit of the pesto in. You so go. this pesto okay. it's in itself here, it's here. So it's mint, it has chives, it has basil, and parsley. That sounds good. You can good. make it your own. This okay. is an awesome dish. It's mm -hmm. like so No nuts are in there. Wait, so what goes on and next? Another wonton or that? Another wonton. Another. Oh, okay. So your so, last layer. Sorry, I'm you're going lazy to here with my wonton. <laughs> no. Pick it up, Sarah. I know. Pick up the pace. And All then, right. And that's, that's it. So we're going to hit the top with a little bit of fresh black pepper and some Parmesan cheese. So how long does this bake for? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. And, and do you have a finished product in there? Can we, we see the, the end product? Okay. And Chef, as you're pulling yeah. that out of the oven there, uh, give us a little bit of information about what you do out in the community here in Connecticut. I, I think it's awesome work. Thank you. So what we did, thank you. We just actually did this for Fresh Connections. Um, they're a thank you. fresh produce box. Um, distribution, um, you know, it's getting out fresh fruits and vegetables out there in the community. Mm -hmm. And so they had a community supper the other night. And so rather than do a hundred, you know, feed a hundred in terms of making whole lasagnas, we right. did small lasagnas. That's and great. It was nice. Delicious. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining Thank us, you Chef very Raquel. Much. What do you think, Thank Ryan? You. Mr. Bomb. High awesome. five. Yeah. I love it. High awesome. five. Yeah. Thank you. Right Thanks there. so much. Awesome.